Hello, welcome to Have a Go, and I'm Alan. Today we're going to start on making the counter shaft on the basis of it's too wet to do any casting. I've pre cut some of the stuff we're going to need, not all of it. So we need two and three to go, but I'll make those later when I've got a better idea. I'm going to start with number four, which will be the rear uprights. And I've got to remember the left and right handed. Right, I've got them like this to make it a bit easier to see what I'm doing. I right, need the first one half a thing in. The other two holes will be at 90 degrees. I'll put a mark along here so I remember what the bottom is. So these will go here. Notes. This is the uh, um, holes for the motor mount. And I make these holes one more so I want to make life easier for myself. Yeah, these are the bearings I'm going to be using. Yeah, little Allen key. I'm going to have to get some more. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to go into town, get some more, recut these longer. Yeah, so that they actually fit. And then I'll be back. Right, it's got some fresh stock, so let's try that again. So this will go here, and I'll need to cut it about there. Right, I'll be back in a flash. I've just got to cut some fresh stuff now. Oh, well that's cutting, let's work on something else. This is number 5, and I need to cut some slots 1 inch deep in them. This should be 30mm across, so I'll make the middle 15 and I have to drill some holes. Alright, bit of quality time with an angle grinder now. Screwed the drill press vise into a bent saw horse, pointed that out the door. I think I'm getting better with that angle grinder. Now I'll need a bit of filing. The diameter of this is 11. I'm going to put this in the other one and to the scrap bin. I'm going to start transferring markings. Alright, so going to punch these. Alright, these are the rivets I'm going to use. Alright, drill time. And that's as far as I can push these ones. Right, these are the feet. And that's this one all done up. I'll put a new rivet gun. And it works nicely. It's a lot easier with two this two-handed one than with the one-handed rivet gun. And I just realised I should have drilled the hole in this one. While it's still a loose piece, I'll actually learn from the past. So... Okay, the tip of that arrow actually came up to the right bit. Completely unplanned, I assure you. I am loving this rivet gun. I just realised I forgot the hole to drill in these ones. This will be what the bottom spreader bar goes on to. Easier to do that when they're loose like this. And this will be four boss names up. Is we'll be doing the moving joints and for this I want some some space but not so much that is wobbly. Right, so paper on one side, paper on the other side. This 
systems are go. I'm not cranking these down just yet because I still have to get the final alignment with the shaft going between them. Right, I need a spreader bar on the bottom and two spreader bars on the top with a whole distance of 90mm. This will be for the bottom. Here is the motor. And there's the counter shaft for the shaper. Just have to make a handle for it. Alright, there we go, the finished counter shaft. Alright, let's see if we can get some pulleys going on this thing. I'm going to have to put a set screw on this though. First time I ever worked with cast iron and it's very nice to work with. Right, that's on soundly now. Cone pulley. Thank you. Cone pulley will go on this way. It's loose, but it should work. Right, bit of tidy up, and let's see if we can get something going here. There's always tidy up. Okay, uh, I do need to screw down the other side. with that I need to shorten that chain but otherwise it's going well 